Hey guys, my name is Josh. Welcome to the first episode here on YouTube. I'm a fellow creative, I'm a filmmaker, I'm a father, I'm a husband, and yeah, now I'm here on YouTube. If you're familiar with the Enneagram, I'm a type one, which means I always wanna be better, I can be hard to please, I'm always working, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, but seriously, as a type one, I look at the world as something to be refined or improved. The term that I like to use is the reformer. Sounds a little more positive. And obviously there are strengths and weaknesses for each Enneagram type, and I'm not gonna break that down right now. But when I'm a healthy type one, I can look at a project I'm working on, I can see how to take action, and then I can focus on actually getting it done. Now, a weakness for type ones, especially type one creatives, is the battle against perfection. And that's because we fear being misinterpreted or failing to meet someone's expectations, even our own expectations. But I think I've gotten comfortable with the idea of not spending too much time thinking about something, tweaking something, perfecting it, but actually sitting down and getting stuff done. Uh, I've seen a lot of creatives uh, some of them are my close friends, overthink their projects to a point of not really accomplishing a whole lot. Uh, and I've helped some of them accomplish their goals or at least take a step towards their goals. And hopefully I can help you as well. Now, if you're not familiar with the Enneagram, I'd encourage you to take it. It's a lot of fun that first time just to see what your result is. Maybe grab a friend or a family member and sit down and do it at the same time. It can be a lot of fun. But it's been really helpful for myself. It's been helpful for my wife and for our friends, uh, just as we learn about ourselves and how we work with others. I will say that I do get along really well with nines, but there's not a right or wrong type. But I think it's fascinating to see how people differ from one another how they have different strengths and weaknesses, but can still make great stuff. Now, there are a lot of people on YouTube already adding a lot of value, teaching you the skills that you need to be a filmmaker. And I would encourage you, watch their videos. I've learned a ton from guys about color grading and all kinds of tutorials. It's been super helpful for me and in my career. Uh, but I hope that with this channel, uh, that I can share what I've learned over the years. Uh, with filmmaking, uh, how to tell a compelling story, how to take steps to improve your creative process. So no matter what experience you have, you're in the right place. You'll likely find me sitting here in this office space with my computer and my desk and these nice lights. I might be out in my backyard, which I love spending time out there. I might be walking around. I might even be driving around in the minivan with my kids. Okay, maybe we won't be in the minivan. But yeah, come join me, subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, you know the drill. But I would love for us to be able to grow together, make great videos, and get stuff done. 